guys, I'm Richard LeBeau. Welcome back to the Good Time Kitchen. Hanging out with our good partner, Mr. Al Simon. How, How you, you doing, doing brother? Rich? Doing good, Richard. Sit you good? Great. Welcome to Project Cochon de Lait. You know, they all got those car shows with, with, with Rebuild. Master crowd. Today, we're with the pig flipper. That's right. Okay, everybody goes out and you do a cochon de lait. You get him going and you get in there. You turn him about halfway and he's like the tapes on Mission Impossible. He self-destruct. He all comes undone. That's right. Let me tell him why we need this thing. Well, typically when you cook your pig, you'll start him with his ribs up. And by the time it's ready to flip him, he is cooked. So with the pig flipper, we lay your pig in here like you want to serve him. After you stuff him, you season everything. We, in, we install these rods across him, which will hold the pig in. We'll flip the pig. Now he's suspended hanging on the rod. Okay. You can put a couple and of those we'll in. Put him, yeah. And then we'll put him in the, in the microwave. That way when he's cooked, all we have to do is take him out, pull the rods out. Well, you just turn the whole unit. Yeah, the whole unit is it's like a rotisserie, but it's just a one-time flip. You flip him, you set him inside the microwave. So the last, the last flip up is just to make the gratin. That's right. I got you. Because you want to cook him with his ribs up, because typically you can't burn meat if you cook through the bone. Okay, listen, and what, what we did when we started, uh, Al went ahead, got this pig, and uh, everything's all nice and seasoned up. Last thing you want to do is you want to go ahead, we're going to kind of cheat a little bit. We're going to season him a little bit more. We made some pockets in the shoulders in here, stuff him all up good. Anywhere in the front and the hind shoulders, we're using some of Miss Phyllis's magic chow chow in here. Right. We're going to cover that recipe for you. And typically you can't over-season a pig. Oh, no, you know, nothing far and... Firing a little bit of uh, alcohol it goes a long way. It's all good. So you over, you over, you can't overstuff either, can you? No. Well, <laughs> eventually. I guess when it just won't go in anymore. But in all the shoulders, anywhere you have, uh, what we have, we have our vegetable blend. We mix it up with a little bit of uh, bon ton and a little bit of Phyllis's uh, chow chow. Mix uh, all that in there. Now this is about a 50 pound pig. Typically you can probably cook uh, 70 to 80 to 90 pound pig. That was my next flipper. Okay, so about up to 70 or 80 pound pig? Yeah. 50 pounds is plenty of pig, you know, for a typical gathering like we're doing today. Okay, so the, and let, let's kind of give them a little bit of history. The, here, go ahead and wipe yeah. it. Uh, the whole thing started, you know, kind of, it's, it's gotten into almost a sport and it's almost a cult thing now to do, uh, to do a cochon de lait. You out of the tailgate, you out at, uh, you know, somebody's house, you out at just any old, you know, any old gathering. I mean, we, we've done them for confirmations, we've done them for communions. Mm -hmm. But the whole thing is, anytime there's a party or there's a gathering, somebody wants to put a pig. So the beauty of this size microwave, you know, you got the small, you got the medium, everybody has their different, mm -hmm. you know, sizes, you do different things. But this big boy is designed for the, for the, for the big, you know, for the big party. <laughs> Well, typically, if you're cooking like for the Super Bowl, you want to eat at the end of the game, you can put your pig in there. It takes four to six hours. Or the sugar bowl. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and you can grill on top with the other grills or other accessories that we have with the microwave. But typically, you want to put your, your pig in there for four to six hours. Okay. After about four hours, you want to take him out and flip it. What's a good time? You, you know, a lot of people get, you know, confused that we have, you know, in, and you are cooking with indirect heat. You have your heat on top, which is a big misnomer. A lot of people, we're going to put the pig in and the heat will be on top. You have a ratio per pound, how long you go, or you just kind of well, watch it? Well, typically three to five hours for any roast or uh, meat that you want to put. Right. For a pig, is four to six hours. Okay. So the whole thing, is, the, the secret about the microwave is it's, it's foolproof, and it's long and slow. The slower you can cook your meat, the more moisture it's going to come out, so four to six hours. So that means it's a whole lot more tender, and it's a lot more trouble-free. So the whole thing stems back to the boucheries way back when. Back then, it was a necessity, a part of our culture. Right. When you had a boucherie, you had everybody in the country and everybody, your, your cousins, your brothers. All your neighbors. Everybody came over, and it was a necessity because you had no refrigeration in the wintertime because you, you had to have fresh right. meat. So you cut the pig up. You had everything. You cooked your, you cooked your sausage, made boudin. Okay, had cheese. You did everything with the pig so you wouldn't have any waste. And sent everybody back home with their little care package. And then that's evolved into society today. We all have freezers. We all have everything else. But the Cajun thing, and this is why having the microwave, the pig flip, and having especially now Simo microwave, this is why we need to preserve, and this is something we can pass on our kids. That's right. Our stand, our way of living down here is the whole thing is about the culture and bringing and, and, and bridging the gap. People come down here and they want to be part of us. What better way to take your friends, take your neighbors, take people who are, have never been in your Cajun culture, introduce them to probably one of the best things that you'll ever do is our culture, our family, and most of all, our food, and introduce them to probably the best tool you'll ever use, one of our microwaves. That's right. Let's go ahead and put them inside and see what we got going on. 
Okay, now, the let's tell him. Say, say, Lou, she's heavy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, the whole secret is you want to flip him, now your pig's suspended, and you're going to drop him in the microwave. Don't drop. No, set him in the microwave. Face gently. <laughs> when you're going to put your coal bed on top, even though your heat goes up, your convection heat goes down, creates a heat barrier, keeps all your moisture in. So you want to cook your pig with his ribs up first for the first four hours. Okay, so how often into this thing are we going to change the heat? We're not going to do anything. We're just going to light it. We're going to leave it alone for about four hours. Take okay. about an hour and a half to get up the temperature, about 450, 400 degrees. Okay. And she's going to cook for about four hours. And basically, she's going to be cooked. We're going to take her out, then we're going to uh, season, you know, make our gelatons. We're going to cut the back, okay. season it real good, and we're going to put it back in for the last two, two and a half hours. That's where we're going to get the gelatons. That's the whole at. secret is, we, is when we take him out. You'll see that later. And we'll be back with you in a little bit. I'm Richard LeBeau. I'm Al Simon. We'll be right back with you. And we're flipping, baby. Come back and join <laughs> us in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm Richard LeBuff. Welcome back. Don and uh, Dallas are going to take that off. We're going to see how the pig. Ooh, boy, she smell good, dude. Yeah, she looks good, too. All right, come on in on up. Mmm, mmm, that's all, boy. Ah, oh, the molly, baby. Okay, now what we're going to do? Go. Ooh. Boy, that smells good, bro. Oh, it sure does. Cool. The whole trick to this is you want to remove these rods. He's your help, brother. <laughs> Just about. Okay, now look. You told me that the whole ticket to this, the second thing, is being able to cut that thing to make the crackle. You show me what we got to do. What you want to do is you want to raise the knife your pig okay. through the skin all the way down to the meat. All right. What that's going to allow you to do is expose that fat to when you put him back in the microwave okay. and you cook him the last time, you're going to have some nice bite-sized crackling and all your fat is going to just be melted right out the pig, drain through the bottom of the microwave. That's why we put a nice big drain in the microwave. All right. So you want to laser in, in bite size. Gratos. Boy, that's going to be incredible. Oh, it's beautiful. That's a nice looking pig. Okay, now we got to go back across? Yeah. OK. Well, do everything in, in little bite size. Cool. You see all that fat and everything coming back out. And that seasoning is in there, too. That's awesome. Now, the reason we took him out and we put the coal bed back on is you don't want to lose your heat in your microwave. OK. You want to make sure that that, that stays up to temp. That's right. Bro, look, you can tell Glenn, look, check this out. It's starting to come apart already. Really look pretty. Cool. Now, the next secret okay. is you want to season him real good. So we'll take your favorite seasoning. Naturally, some bouton. Yeah. And you want to really season it well. That's going to make your crackling want to bubble up. And it's also going to get the seasoning inside the, uh, the cracks. Back inside into that again. Fat. So as your fat's melting off, the seasoning is just getting way in there. OK. Now we're pretty much ready to put him back in. Well, let's get him back inside. <laughs> now, if you notice what we've done, we've actually put him, we're going to be putting him back in the way we're going to serve him. So okay. when he's cooked, we'll actually be able to serve him just right out of this, this grill. All right. And, may, and also, and very important that we stay with that coal bed on top the whole time and keep our heat up. That's right. All right. The microwave will hold its temperature just right. Your biggest deferent is the wind blowing across it or on my dam with it too much. So if you don't fool around with it too much, it'll open too, it'll just cook just fine. That'll now work. we're gonna put the heat back to it for a couple more hours and can get back with it. All right, I don't, I don't tell you feel old. All right, there we go. We're gonna take the fire off. All right, now let's see what we got, bro. Yeah. Coming on up. Oh, that's how we doing that? Yeah, the rod right. goes all the way through and through. Okay, and come back down. We set the pig back in the microwave. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now she's ready to. Oh, start. that's first class. Galaki. <laughs> See how we did. Well, oh, that's first class, brother. See how Feel your it. how your crackings came out real nice. We're Everything's all, all that bubbled up too, man. Really, really nice. Mm -mm. That one there, right? That one wasn't. That one, one right. Another one. Well, that's first class. Well, it came out well. Mm. Guys, I got to tell you, this this is the ticket. The whole idea for the whole the whole party thing. It's a one stop. It's, it, you know, it's a one deal. You have a party. It's the whole thing about a, an Al Simo microwave is that it's an event. It's a hand me down. It's one time investment. You have all the accessories. You have everything that you can you know purchase. 
You got the square pots, you got the pig flip, you got the grill, you got the ice chest liner. Anyhow, when we're not cooking, you can still use the chest. That's right. Still use it. We had a blast today, yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming by, Richard. Well, I appreciate you so much. Thank Guys, you. you really need to get on the website and also Cajun Microwaves uh, with, with an, an S, S dot com. com. Check it out, get you one, and like I said, the whole thing is an event. You buy one, you can pass it down. This is a tool that no chef, no uh, cooking aficionado should be without. I'm Richard LaBeouf, my Al partner. Simon. Al Simon. Hang out in the home of the Cajun Microwave. You're watching The Good Time Kitchen from our CEOs with the Bonton Evans. Come back and see us. You ought to love us. I'm going to finish this one. Come back and see us next time. Al Simon's Cajun Microwaves are now available and they're going fast. Cook a roast, venison, brisket, drunken chicken, or an entire pig while still grilling hot dogs and hamburgers. You can even use it to bake a cake. These beautiful handmade cookers are made from Louisiana cypress and stainless steel. Custom design yours with your choice of laser etching, finish, and size. The perfect patio accessory for family gatherings. Built right here in Louisiana, designed to last a lifetime. Al Seamall's Cajun Microwaves. Get yours today.